Hey guys, it's Joe for Pocketnow.com, and one of our last videos was about Evernote, which is a note-taking app for almost every platform, desktop and mobile, that synchronizes your notes to the cloud. It's available in both free and premium versions, so they call it freemium, but it does cost money to do some of the cooler things. Well, luckily, one of you guys took me up on my challenge and told me what you use, rather than Evernote, to take notes. In this case, it's a K note by catch.com, but I've also got a little bonus for you. Let's go take a look. Okay, are you familiar with Unix? In Unix, they have one overriding philosophy. Do one thing and do it very, very well. So you'll have applications just coming out the wazoo in a Unix environment that do one and only one thing. Well, over in Android, we have a lot of stuff that does a lot of things. In fact, when you saw my uh, Evernote video, Evernote takes notes, but it also syncs with the cloud, and it has notebooks, and it has tagging, and it has OCR, and it has just tons of stuff. Well, this is AK Notepad. You can find it in the market. It is free. It's by catch.com, as you can tell. And it's very, very basic. You can come in and add a note, and what this does is it brings up a very simple legal style notebook and you just tap in here and you write a note or you use your voice to dictate a note. That's it. Pretty simple, isn't it? Now, once you set this up, and it's a very easy setup procedure, it's going to synchronize your notes with your catch.com account. You can see a nice little animation there and you can see I've got these two quick notes in here. In fact, this is the default one that says welcome to catch.com so let me just open that up and again something's wrong with my left hand I think it, it uh, doesn't tap very well but coming in here you can see first of all there's a, uh, a hyperlink hyperlinks and email addresses automatically get well hyperlinked they, they get linked to do whatever they're supposed to do so as you type them in it will automatically grab that for you. Next is if you want to provide a, a tag. Remember in Evernote there was tagging? Well, there is over here too. Just put a hash symbol in front of your word and that makes it a searchable tag. And it's kind of a way to loosely categorize things. So very, very cool there. Now, one bad thing is if you take a look, there's no way to put in a photo note. There's no way to put in a, uh, a voice note, nothing like that. But you'll notice this says quick photo note. So let's open that up and it just says quick photo note there's nothing in there so let's go see how I did that and that's right back here so here's AK notepad and the icons very similar to what you'd expect it to be a you know nice notepad here's its big brother its big brother is called catch and catch has this cool little icon it has a shortcut so if you want to add a shortcut to a new note just tap on shortcuts and scroll down here and choose new note. Of course, we've already done that. You can do that as well with Evernote, which is something I didn't show you in that video. Or you can just come in here and open up the app, add a quick note, or even add a quick photo note right there. So let's go ahead and open up, and just open up Catch using the, uh, the icon there. Now, very, very clean interface. I'm really impressed with how this looks. It's got not only your notes, but also your tags. So if we go into tags, you can see all of the notes that we have provided a hashtag for. I like this a lot better than I like the Evernote version of doing the same because your tags can be inside of inside of your text. You don't have to supply them after the fact uh, and possibly forget to insert them uh, at all, which helps with searchability. Notes are just like that. In this case, it's a little bit nicer view with a little bit of a tutorial down at the bottom. So here's my welcome to catch like we saw in the other one. So it has a little bit different view there. We can add an attachment if we want or go in and edit the note if we want. Go back here and here is my quick note. And you notice this little uh, GPS icon, a little place indicator. That says that this has been tagged or geotagged. And I just pulled a, uh, a note out of my, uh, or an image rather, out of my, my gallery. <laughs> couldn't think of what it was called there. We can add textual notes and then of course we've got that. Now this is Jack Spierko from uh, the Survival Podcast which I uh, really like. There's even a survival app that I'll have to show you one of these times. Um, kind of cool. Teaches you how to plant gardens and do all kinds of other stuff. But before we get too far off topic, uh, 
very easy, very simple, very good way, and it even shows the, uh, the hyperlink location of where that picture was taken. So still very, very cool. Going back here, you can see that we've done everything here in text notes. We can add a gallery note, which is exactly what I did there with my, uh, with my image. I just tapped on that, picked a photo at random from my gallery, and it put it right into my notebook. So very cool there. Put in a reminder note. Now that's just like it says. You're setting a reminder for it. So this is kind of crossing the line between just a notebook and more into a to-do list with uh, alarms and whatnot. So getting pretty close there. We can also go into a voice note, which I like. That's basically just voice, uh, not dictation, but voice recording. So you can record what you want. If you have to record a note really, really fast, put that up there into the cloud, save it for later, and you've got it so you can look at it later. And then, of course, a camera note so that you can uh, very quickly and easily grab something using your camera, whether that's uh, an advertisement or a picture or uh, a crime in progress or, you know, whatever. And then, of course, we have settings down at the bottom. And this has everything that you'd expect. Uh, your refresh intervals, it's syncing, and I've got it set to sync on launch. Um, what kind of connections you want to use, whether you want to use Wi-Fi or data. Your account information, yes, you do have to have a catch.com account. I signed in with my Google account and then set up a catch account. So now all I have to do is log in with Google and it's good to go. Uh, very, very nice uh, Google login integration there. I like that quite a bit. Storage, you can store your files over on your SD card, which I would highly advocate to free up that uh, very, very valuable internal storage. Location tagging is off by default, but of course I turn that on because I find that extra bit of metadata very, very valuable. Now I did not show you this in AK, but both of the apps have a passcode lock, so you can actually lock your notepad. I don't particularly like that because it's just locking one app. I would much prefer that you lock your entire device uh, with a code or at least with a pattern and that will help secure it there. But it's nice that they do offer that for you as well. You can change your sort, change your preview lines, just all kinds of things that you can do. Uh, export your settings to uh, the SD card. Lots and lots of cool stuff. And again, very clean interface, very nice widgets, very nice icons and shortcuts. But if you just want to go with the basic, AK Notepad is it. Catch, the big brother, will do everything, as far as I can tell, that Evernote will do without having that premium cost associated with it. So thank you very much for the tip about AK Notepad. It led me over to Catch, and they work together so that you can have a very quick, very simple notepad or a very robust notepad and have the notes synchronized between the two. Again, this video came from a viewer comment. This is your opportunity to leave comments down below. Let us know what you use. And right now we're on the note taking thing, but if you want to tell us some app that you like that we haven't covered, please let us know. Tell us why it's awesome and what recommendations you have for it, what, uh, what ways you use it in your life. And maybe we can get a video out here just for you. So, showing off AK Notepad, catch and catch.com. For Pocket Now, I'm Joe Levi.